Hello, in this lecture we will be learning about another conver uh, converter which is called Chu converter. Uh, like bug boost converter, Chu converter can also perform both step up and step down operations. In the DC DC converters that we have learned so far, we have seen that uh, the tra energy uh, transfer of energy takes place through inductor. In case of Chu converter, we can see we have two inductors. And, an, and a capacitor. So here capacitor also takes part in energy transfer. At certain uh, part of certain half of the circuit that is on state or off state the inductors and the capacitor get charged and in the other half they get discharged. We, for mathematical analysis of chip converter we will again look at the on states and off states. Uh, here we can see there are two inductors L1 and L2. So we have to consider L1 and L2 separately because for both of them the integration of the voltage across uh, the inductor is zero. So firstly we are considering L1. So for L1 we can see when the switch is on current flows in this direction. So as a result if we name this Vi and if we name this Vl we get uh, minus Vi plus VL is equal to 0 or VL is equal to VI. We put this equation number 1. Uh, this is the case where this inductor L1 gets start. So since there are two inductors we name it VL1 so that we can differentiate between the two inductors. So when the switch is on this inductor L1 is getting charged. Now what happens when the switch is off? This L1, L1 has to get discharged. So the path of discharge will be this. Since this switch is off, no current flows to this, this path. So as a result, the path will be this. Why it uh, no current will flow in this direction? Because the diode is forward biased here and the current consumed by the diode or the voltage of the diode is lower than this so as a result the entire current so if you consider ideal, ideal diode this diode becomes a short circuit as a result entire current flows through this branch so again we are considering plus minus VL1 plus minus VC and plus minus V in here we can see that L1 will get discharged slowly and V1 will still be supplying so for L1 we will get uh, minus V in uh, plus VL1 plus VC is equal to 0 or we get VL1 is equal to V in minus VC we put this equation number 2 it is to be remembered that we can it is to be remembered that uh, this capacitor is being charged when the switch is off again when the switch is on we are considering for l2 separately for l2 so for l2 when the switch is off when the switch was off this capacitor was charged so when the switch is on this capacitor needs to get discharged how will it get discharged it will get discharged in this direction why in this direction the positive charge of the capacitor is in this plate as a result this is the direction of the current in which uh, uh, in which the capacitor will get, get discharged and once the capacitor gets discharged it will charge the inductor so we are considering the inductor voltage as VL2 and the output voltage as V0 so for L2 what do we get from KVL we get minus VC minus V out minus VL2 is equal to 0 or we get VL2 is equal to minus VC plus V out we put it equation number 3 we consider it equation number 3 now again when the switch is off this capacitor has uh, gotten uh, discharged and now this inductor is uh, inductor L2 is charged uh, this is again for L2 this inductor L2 is charged with positive here and negative here so we have seen that inductor was charged with current coming from this end so 
it has to get discharged with current going out of this end so the flow of current will be in this direction and it also uh, the di direction of the diode also supports the flow of current so if we consider vl2 and here if we consider v output from kvl we will get minus vl2 minus v output is equal to zero or vl2 is equal to minus v output when the switch is out we put it equation number four so we get two sets of equation for l1 and two, se two sets of equation for l2 now we know that voltage uh, uh, the integration of voltage over one complex cycle for an in uh, for an inductor is zero so it will be true for both inductor l1 and inductor l2 that is zero to capital t that is time period vl1 dt is equal to zero if we consider it uh, we can modify it we know that from zero to t on time when the switch is on vl1 is equal to v in and from T on to T, VL1 is actually is equal to V in minus VC. VT is equal to 0. From there we can write V in T on plus V in <coughs> T minus V in T on minus VCT plus VCT on is equal to 0. So this minus V in T on plus V in D on cancelled out cancels out as a result we get uh, V in T is equal to VC T minus T on. Again we get VC is equal to T by T minus T on V in by dividing the numerator by T and denominator by T we'll get uh, 1 by 1 minus T V in so this is equal to VC we put this we consider this our equation number 5 this is our equation number 5 now from the second inductor, we will similarly get 0 to T VL2 DT is equal to 0. If this is the case, when the inductor, when the switch is on, we have already found that VL2 is equal to minus VC plus V0 DT plus when the switch is off from T on to T, we have already found out that the voltage across the inductor is minus V0 this dt is equal to 0. If this is equal to 0, we can easily write minus vct on minus v naught t on minus v naught t plus v naught t on is equal to 0. If this is the case, here plus v naught t on and minus v naught t on are cancelled out and we get uh, vct on is equal to minus v naught t or we get vc is equal to minus v naught t by t on therefore vc is equal to minus 1 by t v naught so here we get another relation we name this re uh, relation equation number 6 so in equation number 5 we get a relation between vc and v input in equation number 6 we get relation between vc and v output now we combine the two equations from equation 5 we know vc is equal to 1 by 1 minus t v input is equal to from equation 6 is equal to minus 1 by t v output so from here we get v output is equal to minus t by 1 minus t v input or uh, t by t minus 1 v input v output so if we closely observe the relation this relation is similar to bug boost relation bug boost relation so if we get duty cycle d is above 0 0.5 we'll get boost operation 
that is v input will be smaller than v output if we get d is smaller than 0 0.5 we will get back operation a step down operation and we will get v input greater than v output so this is the working principle of chuck converter we can easily get the current relation from the theory of conservation of power that is v input uh, i input the input power is equal to v output i output the output power so we have found out that uh, we have found out that our v output is equal to d by d minus 1 v input so we are replacing v output by this term so we are cancelling out v input from both sides if we cancel it out we get i output sorry uh, sorry here i output i output is equal to d minus 1 by d i input so this is really this relationship again follows bug boost relationship so the chuck converter the driving equations of chuck converter are similar to those of that of bug boost converter thank you uh, that's all for today in the next class we'll be learning about sepic converter